Imagine you own an old building. It's full of character, but has no insulation, and you want to upgrade the energy performance without compromising the historic features. How do you do it? Two months ago, I posted a video about insulating inside a solid wall in the UK. Between YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, that video has been viewed over 450,000 times. I had no idea that insulation is such a popular topic, but I also didn't know that there's another way to insulate a solid wall. Many of you posted in the comments about aerogel. I was vaguely aware of this material, but had no experience using it. So I did some research, and I learned some things. I'm going to take a deep dive into aerogel, including who produces it, how much it costs in the UK, how to use it, and how much space it will save in your renovation project. If you have an old building with solid walls and you want the thinnest insulation in the UK, this is the video for you. The problem with breathable insulation. The big lesson from my original video is that older buildings with solid walls need to breathe both inside and outside. Modern PIR insulation is very efficient, but it can't breathe. It traps moisture, and that could lead to mold and rot hidden behind the insulation. Breathable insulation, like mineral wool, is widely available, but if you want to renovate an old building and upgrade the walls to make your home warmer, it takes a lot of mineral wool to do that. Aside from making the room smaller, it can be impossible to do this if the building is listed and has cornices. Lining the inside surface of the external wall with this thick buildup will cover cornices and the planners don't like that. So how do you upgrade a house if it's listed or you don't want to lose lots of space? That's where aerogel comes in. What is aerogel? Aerogel is a super lightweight material made by drying out silica gel until there's no moisture left. Imagine taking hair gel and somehow removing all the liquid without any shrinkage occurring. Whatever's left is aerogel. It's 99.9% .9 air. This material is extremely resistant to heat transfer, and its properties as an insulation material are almost supernatural. Just look at this photo taken by NASA. It shows a flower being shielded from a blowtorch by a sheet of aerogel. The more I dug, the more I realized that while aerogel is amazing, it's also fragile and expensive. It was not obvious how this stuff could be used in construction until I found space therm. This is Space Therm, and it's supplied by Proctor Group, who, as it happens, are based about an hour's drive from where I live. I knew Proctor Group for making high-tech membranes for the construction industry. Their products are widely used to achieve air tightness and vapor control in buildings. I reached out to them during my research, and they were very keen to help me understand how Space Therm works. Because it's especially useful for renovation projects, they sponsored this video so that you can see for yourself if Space Therm is right for you. Lots of companies make products for the UK construction industry, and many of them sell their wares and leave it to the end user to figure it out. Relatively few firms take the time to answer questions. One thing Proctor Group are known for is their technical helpline. No matter how complex or unique the project, these guys will be able to tell you how to use their products correctly. How does Space Therm work? Proctor Space Therm comes in a few different types for different applications, but fundamentally, it's made from this fiber mat bonded to a magnesium oxide board. The fibrous mat is impregnated with silica aerogel. The magnesium oxide board comes in varying thicknesses, but they are all vapor open, meaning they don't trap moisture. Aerogel on its own is fragile, but the quilt solves this problem, making it flexible and breathable all at once, and it is possible to buy the quilt on its own. Because aerogel is hydrophobic, liquid water runs off it, but thanks to the permeable structure of the material, water vapor can pass right through. This gives Space Therm two massive advantages. You might remember that in the original video, I advised there should be a cavity between new insulation and a solid wall. That takes up valuable space, but because aerogel is hydrophobic, that isn't necessary. Space Therm can be fixed right onto the inside face of a solid wall, and that saves space. Because both the insulation and the magnesium board are vapor open, the product breathes. Damp can't build up and cause mold growth behind the insulation. But aside from the fact that Space Therm can be installed right onto a masonry wall, its big party piece is thermal performance, better than any other type of insulation used in construction today. Exactly how much space will Space Therm save? Let's assume your house has an 18-inch thick solid wall, like this house. You can see from this photo the two traditional ways that solid walls are lined inside older buildings. This wall has been strapped and lined with lath and plaster on timber studs, and this wall has been plastered directly onto the brick. 
The lath and plaster lining is about 50 millimeters or two inches thick overall, and the plaster on the brick is usually around one inch thick. We measure heat loss using U values. The lower the number, the better the score. And a 450 millimeter thick sandstone wall like this will have a U value of around 1.5. For comparison, the walls in a modern home are almost 10 times more efficient. If we use 16mm Space Star Multi, it can be fixed directly onto the inside surface of the wall. That would reduce the U-value from 1.5 to 0.719, which cuts the heat loss in half at a stroke. That means we could strip the plaster off this wall, fix Space Star Multi to the brick, and run it right up to the cornice. Once the new lining has been decorated, there would be no impact on that cornice. Space Therm can replace old lime plaster within its original thickness and not affect the historic character of the building. If we used more conventional PIR insulation, it would take at least 24 millimeters of insulation with nine millimeters of plasterboard fixed directly onto the inside face of the external wall. Now, this is something you should never do with a solid wall. It is almost certainly going to lead to dampness and mold. The best practice is to have a 25 millimeter cavity between the wall and the insulation. With that buildup, we could reduce the PIR insulation to 20 millimeters and achieve the same U value, but the overall thickness is now 54 millimeters and it can't breathe. So if that wall is damp, this is really not the way to go. If we used breathable mineral wool, we still need a 25 millimeter cavity and to achieve the same U value, we would need 37 millimeters of insulation plus nine millimeters of plasterboard. To summarize all of this, 16 mil of Space Therm Multi can achieve the same thermal performance without causing dampness or mold issues compared to buildups of 54 millimeters using PIR and 71 millimeters using mineral wool. You can see the difference in thickness between Space Therm and 25 millimeters of PIR here. These two products have the same thermal performance, but only Space Therm is breathable and can be safely fixed to the inside of a solid wall. Even if those other insulations were stuck directly onto the wall, Space Therm is still less than half the thickness. That is highly impressive, but it does come at a price. How much does Space Therm cost? Space Therm Multiboard costs £97 per square metre. It's available in a variety of thicknesses, but the sheet sizes are all 2.4 by 1.2 metres. It's usually available within 7 to 10 working days, and there are no minimum order quantities, so it's possible to get Space Therm for small home renovation projects. It can be cut and drilled using regular tools. Just remember to compress the board beforehand to avoid snagging the quilt on a saw or drill bit. Because aerogel is hydrophobic, it won't wash off with just water alone. You should always use PPE when handling Space Therm because the aerogel beads can be hard to remove if they get onto your skin or clothes. Space Therm is also available as a quilt and in combination with other products such as Proctor's Wrap Tight Membrane, which is ideal if you want to increase the air tightness of your home. Now, there is no getting around the fact Space Therm is an expensive product, but it outperforms every other commonly used insulation on the market, and it is breathable. This makes it ideal for older properties where space is at a premium. If you have any questions about using Space Therm on your project, Proctor Group have a dedicated technical helpline that can provide detailed advice. Their online training seminars for architects are very informative and they also have loads of really great technical information on their YouTube channel, including a regular podcast. I'm really happy to have Proctor Group as a partner for the Real Life Architecture channel. I've put a link to the Proctor Group website in the description. Tell them Neil from Real Life Architecture sent you.